Hello students of grade 11. Today you will learn how to write a note. What is a note? It's a brief message that you would write on a piece of paper or a card or a post-it or sticky note. Notes are informative and are written to present an idea or message that you would want to deliver to someone urgently. You may sometimes want to write out notes that could be given to someone else, reminding them of something. Or you may have to leave a note on your fridge at home to inform your family some important information. Or you may have to write some motivational quote to be pasted on your classroom wall. In any way, we do write notes. Maybe not frequently, but we do. In order to write a note, there are some steps that you can consider. Step 1. You may want to date your notes. This may not be a necessity if the note is delivered immediately and along with a package. But if you do wish to write a note saying thank you or a thank you note, the date is essential. For such notes, you may want to even use a small card and a paper that is neatly folded. The note will most definitely be formal, short and very polite. Step 2. You may want to give your note a title. By doing so, the receiver will easily be able to know the idea of the note immediately. Step 3. Be brief and don't write everything down. Include salient points or important points only. Ask yourself, what is it really that you want to communicate and write directly, briefly and to the point? Step 4. Keep your sentences short. Don't write lengthy sentences with figures of speech. Good notes should allow you to get a gist of what is being said at a glance. By keeping your sentences short, you also force yourself to process the information as you are not writing everything down word by word. Ensure you include the keywords of your message for more clarity. Step 5. Use the imperative. If it's not a thank you letter that requires you to be polite and grateful, consider using the imperative or the command form. You may write, meeting at 4 p.m. Come to the hall. Come to the hall is in the imperative and is commanding and extremely direct. It could also seem urgent too when you write sentences in the imperative. Now let's look at your pupil's book, Unit 6, Activity 7 on page 65. The activity is based on Activity 6 on page 64. Let's quickly read it through together. The notice states that there are auditions for the drama competition. It starts with the title Auditions and reads, Would you like to take part in the Interhouse Drama Competition? Then come join us. We are casting for Everyman, the Caucasian Shock Circle, the Merchant of Venice and the Christmas Carol. Auditions will be held on Friday 20th September at 2pm at the school main hall, Secretary English Literary Association. Now, let's look at Activity 7 on page 65. Let's read it together. Jerome's friend Farouk likes acting but he is absent today. Imagine you are Jerome and write a note to Farouk informing him about the auditions. Let's now write a quick note to Farouk together. 12th September Farouk Auditions for the Interhouse Drama Competition will be on Friday, 20th September at 2 p.m. at the school auditorium. Make sure you go for it. Jerome Wasn't that short and very direct? If I were writing a letter, I may have included more details, like the names of the plays, but for this purpose, simply informing him of the date and time and the venue of the auditions are sufficient. You would also have noticed that I end the note using the imperative. By doing so, it shows that it's important and urgent information. Now turn to page 65 in your student workbook. Look at unit 6, activity 8. Let's read the question together. 
Your class teacher has informed the class that grade 11 students have to sign the application forms for the GCE O-Level examination tomorrow. Your best friend is absent and not aware of the fact. Write a note informing him or her about it. Let's do this together. 12th September Raju all grade 11 students have to sign the application form for the GCE O-Level examination. It's taking place tomorrow. Make sure you come to school tomorrow. Rabin. As you can see, the important idea is clearly given to Raju and he's backed up by an urgent phrase in the imperative. This makes it a clear, concise note. If you do not get to write a short note for your O-Level exam, it should be a piece of cake. I hope you found this lesson useful and I do hope you will click the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Till next time, goodbye.